new Primaris options are here. <laughs> Bits. <laughs> Welcome back, hobby maniacs. I'm Rob Bear from SpikyBits.com, and we are taking a closer look at the new Primaris units. We've got the Eliminators, the three man Eliminator multi part kit, and the Primaris Lieutenant we've all been waiting for. Finally, he's here. This episode is all about the Primaris Lieutenant and only him. Psych, I'm just kidding. <laughs> he's actually pretty cool, but <laughs> um, I'm not sure everybody's really caring about this guy right at this moment because the Eliminators seem to be the hotness right now. So the new Eliminators are $50 US, and the Primaris Lieutenant is only $35. And I say only $35 because well, the two new special characters are 40. So he's actually the old price of 35, whereas perhaps, you know, maybe like a year ago, he would have been 25. And of course, you can always get your war hams for less at miniaturemarket.com every day. They sell it for less. So let's kind of dig into this. The big question on my mind is if we can make both versions, the last few cells and the snipers of the Primaris Eliminator. So that's first and foremost, I think, uh, for this review. So I've been kind of checking out this kit uh, vaguely off and on uh, since it's been previewed and I noticed there's a lot of different bits in here it's a three spruce section which I'm going to show you here in a second so they've got they all come with a bolt pistol and the sniper rifle if you want or you can get uh, the bolt carbine for the sergeant who do, does a special little ability that we're going to talk about here in a few minutes as well or all three can get the last few cell or you can do ones and one so they give you everything you need uh, to make as far as I can tell every version that you need to make in here but the question like i said is will you be able to um do all the stuff and make them interchangeable like say you want the last few cells you want that last cannon or maybe you just want the bolt carbine here and there well i'm that's my guess and i'm gonna i'm kind of thinking that it might be kind of hard so here's the three sprues and you can already see each one has three different guns on there so that's a good uh, well that's a good precursor to kind of give you an idea now the instructions themselves are well they're kind of complicated i guess i should walk that back and rephrase that they look complicated they're actually pretty easy and the models um for the most part uh seem to have a lot of different options so you're starting with the sergeant you kind of got to figure out what you want to do you want to do a bolt sniper you want to do last few cell or do you want to do the sergeant with the insta uh, instigator bolt carbine which he can't have the sniper rifle if he has that but allows you to fall back uh, before charges are made so they might actually miss the charge if you have these guys kind of exposed because remember you can set them up anywhere outside of the enemy's deployment zone more than nine from the enemy I believe so those are your options right there and unfortunately you can't make both unless you super tiny magnetized stuff if you and then there but there's the straps and then there's the power cables and they just don't think it's gonna work unfortunately however you can maybe switch out some front uh, weapon kind of tubing or something like that we're not going to get into all that because i mean at the end of the day like i don't i don't know if it's i don't know if it's worth it because it seems like depending on your build you're gonna you're gonna want them a certain way and you're really not gonna want to interchange them so maybe not being able to future proof this kit isn't a big deal i personally don't like that but uh it just looks like there's too much going on with all this stuff in order to do it because here you can kind of see you got different arm e options either so you'd have to socket them in this is actually a different arm that has a little bit of a cape with this one also has a little bit of a cape but it's a different you know it's got a different turn to the the shoulder socket so it's very in-depth and there's a whole lot of stuff going on here i also want to talk about these little three terrain pieces that go on the base next to the model and i didn't we're not going to put these on here because then it won't be able to show off the model as well but just keep in mind that there's a base uh that you plug these guys into and then there's additional little scenery pieces that can go on there which are pretty cool looking i also want to point out that it looks like the there's a wire that actually sockets into the bionic eye on the last few cell guys that's kind of interesting i haven't seen anything like that before and I'm not sure we're going to build one of those, but I can imagine where it would almost be a pain in the butt to line that up. If you get a little bit off, then, you know, getting in the socket and messing with eyes is always the whole thing. Uh, as far as the assembly goes, well, the, the legs are all kind of uh, left and right pieces. And there's a couple of like tassels and things here and your heads. It, it looks pretty straightforward for the most part. The There isn't the crazy cuts and sections on the cape which i like because you don't have to worry about you know your uh, plastic putties and things like that like we showed you in the past 
Uh, I would definitely still build these with the cement, or you can use the army painter glue too. It's kind of magical, but I, I don't. I find myself on st stuff like this not always using it. Um, and then there's another last fusel eye socket kind of thing right there. And then last but not least is the final eliminator. And as you can see, completely different build. So they're not only giving you different weapons, but they're giving you different weapon arms. It's just. It's, it's a little bridge too far, I feel like, for uh, putting magnets and stuff in there. And then you can see you got your rune piece right there, and this little uh, vertical support goes on this guy. And he's kind of doing the Captain Morgan or the Commander Riker, whatever you want to call it. Uh, then you got the rules in here. But again, depending on what you're going to take, and it, we, we've only seen the rules for four of the supplements. You know, I can imagine if you're going to play Raven Guard, you're going to equip these guys differently. Maybe if you're going to play Iron Hands. Um, you're going to all want the heavy weapon because there's the bonus uh, doctrine ability to heavy weapons. You know, you get to move and fire them basically for freezies and you get to reroll ones if you're in the Devastator doctrine. Um, you can, man, there's just so many different stratagems and so many different, it's still kind of hard to kind of come up with all the sorts of ideas, but definitely these guys are awesome for Raven Guard because you're automatically getting all those bonuses to hit characters and things. However, remember, these aren't going to help you on your battalions. These are heavy supports, which also take away from other stuff that you might be doing. But in instances like Iron uh, Hands, maybe you want to take that Leviathan. So you got to have, you know, it's a relic. So you got to have another Duder here in the heavy support slot. Might be a no-brainer to take Eliminator. So there's a lot of different potential here. And I think of all the kits, um, maybe Infiltrators too, I think we're going to see a lot of these on the tabletop. And we're already seeing the war suits crop up more and more and more on top list. So very interesting that everything seems to have tremendous potential on the tabletop so enough about that let's take a look at the sprues because that's what we're here for and like i said the slices there's no slices they're all one piece in the backpack slot in there and they have these uh really cool little terrain pieces with some vertical uh different accoutrements that go on there a couple of different heads for each one and there are the little wires that sock it in um, it's just kind of weird, but it's it's different. It's not like weird in a, in, a, in a weird in a bad way. It's just weird in a kind of a different way. And then here's the uh, sergeant with the bolt uh, carbine right there, and you can see that really cool head. And obviously these guys, these heads, they're not exactly plug and play. They're kind of flat in the bottom, so I'm not sure if you could slot them in with other duders, but they look pretty cool. So let's get them together and talk about it a little bit more. So here's the first one, and I gotta admit, I really, I really do like uh, the kind of stance here. And of course, he could have the sniper rifle, but this is uh, the bolt pistol. I'm not sure why he's doing that. Uh, I don't know if he need, knows how to hold a pistol right there, but I wouldn't hold my pistol like that. But that's just me. What do I know? Anyways, uh, <laughs> uh, cool model, cool posing, like I said, and there isn't the little split in the cloak back here, which is pretty neat. And then he's got the sniper rifle on the back. They all come with the bolt pistol and the sniper rifle stock and then you can kind of switch things out from there uh, as far as mold lines and gaps well for the most part the gaps are uh, again hell uh, hidden very carefully based by the placement of all the stuff and you can see where some of the mold lines would be across the top just to be aware of and uh, kind of look out for so these guys look great they're nice and big on a 40 mil base here's the second one and he's got a cool pose as well with his little pouches with his uh, different rounds. Remember the base sniper rifle has some different rounds. Uh, this piece right here could give you a little bit of trouble. It's kind of like a one piece. Uh, uh, it's a little, it can be a little sassy at times, but other than that, um, most of it goes together. You might want to drill out your barrels. You might not. Really hard to say, but um, you know, I really like the styling and kind of the pose and everything here. Uh, but of course, this one will switch out with the last fusel. And then the sergeant uh, either has a sniper rifle and is looking down the scope or it has these uh, monoculars and binoculars whatever you want to call them I guess they're binoculars because he looks with both and then he's got the uh, carbine which allows them to fall back too and he looks pretty cool you know he's got the um, it looks like they're the reaver kind of style armor right there and then you know some uh, clasping things and some little straps kind of holding all their cloaks and things on and that is pretty much it so we didn't put a last few cell together because I feel like um, I might actually need these guys to play with, but I did want to show you how they compared uh, to the guys from the, what is it, uh, the Shadow Spear box. And here you can see one of the dudes we did up with a camel cloak already. And it's uh, it's got a little yellowed because, well, well, that's just kind of what happens when you use glue and, um, you know, the little uh, cheese, this is uh, cheesecloth unbleached 
cheesecloth. It already comes a little yellowed, but well, they're blowing out the camera right there. And we'll put the link to that if uh, if you're looking to do something like this. It paints up very well and it looks really cool. And I think it gives it a little bit better of a feel than these uh, camel cloaks right here. So that's why we did that with ours uh, from the Shadow Spear box. But styling's good. Um, let's compare it to one of these. And you can tell right by the rifles right there, they're very, very similar. It's almost like they're almost the same sculpts, but you know, this one's not as multi-part as this one right here, but I still think, and they're not gonna give you the options for the last few cells and things like that. But I mean, other than that, kind of who cares? I mean, if you're if you're saving money and you can pick those up or you already have the Shadow Spear box and you're just gonna run the sniper as well, easy game, easy life. And there's how they compare it to the uh, infiltrators as well. So pretty much standard primary size, but they're a little bit chunkier on the 40 mil base in their posing. Um, I did want to show you something else. What was it? Oh, here's how the painted version can be if you put camel cloaks on them. Well, and this is uh, regular Space Marine Scout snipers with a little bit of camel. We have a video on YouTube on how to do this. I might actually uh, link it here somewhere in the video uh, in the info button over that away up there, up there somewhere. I don't know. <laughs> uh, let's take a look at the lieutenant and see how cool he is. So now that our illusions of doing both models are blown out of the water, we've got the Lieutenant in Phobos armor and he's pretty stylish. You know, he comes in a normal kind of a clam pack here. It's not gonna come in a box. So you can get the one little mini sprue, 40 mil base and tiny decal alert. And then on the back is the instructions on how to put him together. So left and right torso or left and right legs, front and back torso different head looks like you could get kind of crazy with the head if you wanted to and then this posing right here a little bit of uh, basing material right there shoulder padage you could switch out half his helmet i don't know if you could put that over top of it but we'll find out here in a second over his head and um just give him a different look and then the smoke grenade would actually uh looks like is a separate piece and then it goes on to the base so you could in theory put that anywhere you really wanted to which would be kind of neat and uh, potentially a source of uh, of great fun right there so here's the sprue and it's very well detailed uh definitely nice basing right there got lots of pouches you got your little phobos armor there's his head cap so in theory, it looks like you could cut that out and would go over his bionic eye, but it's kind of attached to the pouch right there. So you might have to scrape down the side. I don't know. I think it's doable. I think it's doable for sure. And there's his head with his bionic eye. Yeah, it looks like it would go over top of there. Back of the torso, leg, arm with a little power feed cable, crazy long crocodile dundee, combat knife, and back. Oh, and there's the front. So there's the front of it right there. All right, well, let's get them together and see how cool it looks. Another Primera Space Marine hard at work. Look at this guy right here. He's got some very dynamic posing, of course. Uh, this is all separate. Like I said, you could definitely have some fun with that, but very dynamic in his pose. I think he's very cool looking, unsheathed, crocodile Dundee knife, and you can kind of see where some of the mold lines are to give you a heads up. Didn't hit all of them. There's a little uh, butt crack gap but everything else is pretty much hid for the most part and i really like how they do that just making layers upon layers and uh not having to worry about any of that you might want to drill out the bolter barrel right there but other than that i mean design looks great just be cognizant of all the mold lines and everything and all your gluing uh, of the seams and things you might want to use this nice thin to my extra thin cement i think it goes a long ways didn't see a lot of gaps for the plastic putty but in case you ever need it that is what that stuff is right there and then for any of these models uh if you want to beef up the base and you don't want to use the g-dub paint to do it you might want to check out this liquitex resin sand it builds up the base it doesn't shrink it doesn't have a lot of shrinkage and uh, really looks good afterwards then and then you can base it with the gw uh, textures and things like that. So just the idea out there, we'll put the links to all those products below. If you are looking to pick up these models on this weekend, of course, you can check out miniaturemarket.com. We can always get your Warhams for less. So that is about it for this one. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you can be the very first to like and comment on all our videos.